Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Bone Saw. So, as you can see, there's a few more little achievements down there. The white star is for um, just beating the game, and the gold star is for doing it with all pucks. And the little 1k achievement down there, that is for getting a thousand kills. How do I get a thousand kills? Well, I got a hockey stick, I mean, I, I got a cutter, and I grinded on enemies in this level for a little bit to build up my bone saw meter, because we're going to need that in a little bit. So yeah, we've beaten Ref M, we've gotten all the pucks, we've completed all the levels, but there's still one more thing that needs to be done. You might remember way back at the beginning of this LP, there was a, sus a suspicious bomb block just right at the exit in the first level. Well, we're gonna finally go down there and we're gonna see what that's all about. And I could cut all this out, but I decided I'd just film the whole trip back because it really goes to show you just how big this game is when you actually run the whole entire map like this. Really, the whole entire game, you're just climbing higher and higher, and by the end, I guess you're at some, you're, you're just you're at the peak of such a tall mountain that you can literally just walk right onto a space station. I I don't even know how that works, but. Anyway, there's absolutely no point showing this level, so yeah, um, see you at the end. Alright then guys, let's do this! Now this is what you need bone saw for. You gotta use bone saw to like, break through these flashing blocks. Now, it is possible to come up here much earlier in the game. In fact, you can come here as soon as you get a cutter for the first time, but if you try um, passing through this door without all 105 golden pucks, it'll just, like, spit you out of the level. But if you have all 105 golden pucks, you basically get to enter the game's secret level. And when I say secret level, I mean it's secret, secret level. Like... You know, this is basically the equivalent to the super dungeon of an RPG. This is like the ultimate hidden final level. And as you might notice, our bone saw energy is actually constantly charging down here. Because, as you can see, this place is just brimming with bone saw energy itself, and all these enemies have massive amounts of health, too. Yeah, you get infinite bone saw for this place, which is really cool. Yeah, those bunny things still somehow manage to be the most annoying enemies. I know I said the dragons were the most annoying enemies, but honestly, I think it's those bunnies. too much about dying down here, though. Because since you have infinite bone saw, that also means that your health is also recharging basically infinitely. Infinite health recharge. Also, make sure you kill every enemy in this room, because you have to. Be 
careful when fighting the dragons in this room, by the way, because sometimes when you, like, spin attack them, it, it basically just sends them flying all the way to some far corner of the room and you actually have to go searching for them and hunt them down. <laughs> he just got stuck in between those two blocks. That was bad for him. Oh, gotta jump that. Now these guys you can just knock off. I think, yeah. No, you guys are not hearing things. That definitely said something. enemies we have to deal with. Yep, there we go. Now we can just jump straight down here. And that's basically the level. Now we just gotta run around this. Oh, also, if you look down here, Wick. Another mention of this mysterious Wick person. Yeah, and just FYI, I'm pretty sure that the person that's shown in the static screen room in various shots, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be Wick. They don't really look the same, but... I'm sure there's also been a whole lot of time in between then and now, so... Yeah. Either that, or the guy in the screenshots, or the, 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 the static room is supposed to be the knight that you fight in the secret stages. That could also be it. Will you join the ranks of the mighty, or fall with the cowardly? The answer is waiting up ahead. I like that line. But yeah, this is it. This is the ultimate boss fight of this game, and let me tell you right now, this guy does not mess around. Because Wick is one heck of a boss fight. Also, um, that green bar in the background, that's his life bar. Yes, he also takes on the forms of the different bosses throughout the game, and he has all their powers, plus his own unique arsenal of attacks, so... Yeah. Not a lot I can say about Wick, other than that he is very, very RNG-based, and he has a lot of health, and... Depending on what attacks he decides to use, he could really screw you over if you're not careful. I think one of his worst attacks is definitely the attack where he just shoots green- that- that attack. Oh, that was- ow, that was close. That attack, as well as his, um, throwing attack where he tosses the bone saw, that- they- they both really, really hurt. But if he, says, if he decides to spam that green energy attack and you just get, like, caught in the middle of it where you can't escape, you're pretty much dead, because it does a lot of damage. Like, it does as much damage as the ref's laser thing does. I 
Also, if you can't tell what that voice is saying in the background, it, it's actually saying Bone Saw is ready, but it's all like corrupted and stuff. That was a nice evasion. Ooh. Oh no, he's spamming it. Okay. Honestly, the Wick is a fun battle. I mean, oh. Yeah, I lost hard. <laughs> But yeah, you gotta consider, though, that you basically have to be completely maxed out in strength to even reach this guy, so there's no making this guy any easier for yourself. It's like, th this is purely a battle of skill, and sometimes luck, depending on if he decides to, like, spam the, you know, spam the green attack multiple times in a row, or if you just get completely caught up in that attack. Although, that, I probably could have avoided that if I'd run left. I'm gonna say, where is he? This is probably one of the best forms to do damage to him is like when he turns into that form you can pretty safely just run in front of him and attack. Sometimes, depending on where those little energy spheres go, they can pretty much just screw you over. But yeah, to me at least, Wig is always a pretty fun fight, though. It's like, you know, considering that this is the... Like, you have to... It's like, there's nothing you can do to make this easier. You have to be as strong as you can possibly get just to reach this guy, so... Th this battle is pretty much... It's like, no matter how many times you fight this guy, it feels like it's always going to have some edge-of-the-seat moments. It's like, there's always a chance that you could lose really badly against this guy, and there's not really much you can do about it. And that's what makes him a lot of fun to fight. You never really know exactly how a battle with Wick is going to go.
forgot about that form. Yeah, at least do not start using that on me. When he does this, you just gotta jump and spin constantly, like as fast as you can. Pretty sure he only does that attack when he like gets to around half health, which he's pretty much right at right now. Oh, calm down, Wick. Yes, this hard boss gets even harder further you get into the battle. He actually has one more form that he hasn't used yet, but he has a Reaper form where if he hits you with his scythe, then he'll lower you to 1 HP, and that can be really, really bad. Kind of goes without saying. Form. I'm starting to learn a bit of a trick there. Strangely enough, I never really thought about that before. It's like when he's about to transform, always try to run back a little bit because you never know what he's going to turn into. Except that still doesn't help much in dodging the fire forms attacks. That could have been really nasty. silly now. I thought that was going to be the green explosion attack. Will you seriously, like, please just come down from there? happy that he's trying to stay in the air, or was, because that means I have to deal with fire form less. Just spanning this form now. standing right in him, it looked like. Oh, no, you don't. Got him on the ropes here. That was terrible. 
Well, that didn't really work too well that time. Okay, that worked. Fantastic. In that form when I'm low on elf. I gotta dodge energy balls shooting all over the place. Okay, so if you like jump into him, like, I guess just as he throws the last flame. Oh. And there was another case of the RNG screwing me over. Oh! was just... that was dirty. chance to let your health recharge, because it's completely safe if you can just get out of the way of it. Okay. That's 
fine. That's not so fine. That is definitely not so fine. Please just let my health restore. chances to heal myself here. I'd rather to heal up. Fight of bone saw everyone. <laughs> eh, you, you go do that. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, yeah, as you can see, we got a new costume now, and the effect that this actually has is that um, your health will now constantly restore even when you don't have Bone Saw activated. So, honestly, it's really useless considering that to get it you already have to do everything else in the game, so there's really no point at all to it other than making the battle with Ref in a little bit easier, I guess. Even though you have to beat him once anyway to even be able to access it, but yeah. Anyway, with all that said and done, there is only one more thing that still needs to be accomplished, and that thing is to banish Ref M forever. And so our journey is about to conclude as we make our way back to the evil referee space station. Next time. We're finishing Bonesaw once and for all. See you guys.